Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. In the last episode that I posted called Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII uh, number, uh, number Test, Planting the Seed Part 1, that's not going to be part of the mainstream Let's Play. So I'm not going to worry about putting it in the playlists or anything like that. It's more of a side series of episodes showing where I take the seed tests. As you can see, I'm seed rank 25. Also, while I'm in this menu, I want to junction sleep to my attack for Squall, and I also want to give uh, Quistus Zell's uh, junctioning for an upcoming boss. Yes, that, that that's what we want to do. Now, let's get a move on, shall we? There's a blizzard draw point over here, but we don't really need it. Also, before I forget, again, uh, you want to go in here to your junction menu, go to junction ability, give Squall move, find, and you want to give Quistus now, who has Zell's uh, junction, you want to come in here and give her vitality plus 20%. That'll increase her defense a bit. So, alright. The reason we junction sleep is in case we ran into a T-Rex arc, because those things are pretty nasty. Alright, everyone, we're back. There's just a couple more grats there. So, let's continue on down the path here. Somebody help! Uh-oh, what was that? Come on, Squall. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Ah, no good. But no, we gotta hurry up and dispatch this boss fight because it's pretty rough, if I recall correctly. Yeah, we gotta fight one Ronaldo and like three or four. Uh, yeah, three Raldos. If you draw from him, you can get Shell. Just like if you draw from the other ones, the littler ones there, you can get Protect. So we'll have Squall draw each of those since he seems to have the best chance of drawing a high number right now. So, we'll draw that to get him already. Just target the Ral the Raldos, because those are really his only way of attacking. Or you can have someone directly attack him, too, which I would also recommend, because he's he goes crazy if you kill all three Raldos. Okay. Attack Ronaldo. Full on. Yeah, see, as you can see there, he uses the Raldos to attack. So, there you are. And I think he's also immune to sleep. Now... My attack right now is 100% sleep based, but it also it still has a chance of not inflicting sleep. But and apparently we able to we were we are able to sleep the big guy, so that's good to know. In that case, that's, uh, ooh, I hate Final Fantasy VIII's targeting system. There. All right, come on. We can do this. All we need to do is just beat him down. Now, that's not the easy part, though. Yeah. All right, we slept him again. Maybe that's not such a good idea, though. I don't know. But essentially, though, he's pretty, uh, pretty easy for the most part. All right, we got one of the Raldos down. Nice. Eh, hi. Buddy. You can die. You can die if you want to, because we can leave y'all friends behind. Oh, come on. Alright, two of the Graldos are down. <laughs> also, too, if your level's high enough, some of the higher level grats in this area will you can draw Berserk from. That I just figured I'd throw that out there. And also, if you run into a higher level T Rexar, you can actually draw Thundara and Fyra from them if you're feeling lucky. I really wouldn't recommend it though, because <laughs> they hit hard and have a ton of HP. So you might not come out very good. But if if you uh, just stick to uh, uh, if you have Sleep Junction to your attack, you can uh, sleep them and alternate between Sleep attacks and uh, summon your GF. And that, that works pretty well. Especially if you're good at boost, because you can get your GF to do above a thousand damage now. So that's something to keep in mind. But also, too, if you run into a uh, T-Rexar, 
you are in for about a good 30 minute battle, especially if you use the GF strats. So it's up to you. You can run or you can fight them. As for me, let's get on out of here, because we have some work to do. Alright. Not everyone can get by on their own, you know. Yeah, I know, Quistus. We need friends and all this other stuff, but sometimes it's best to be alone. Only sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> sometimes we just need that that moment of peace to ourselves. Oh well. Now we need to go to the room, to our room, and see if uh, if see if we run into any familiar faces. <laughs> we should, maybe. I don't know. Let's just go. <laughs> hey, it's Zell. Finally, there you are. Where the hell you been? I was looking all over the place. We're both members of SEAT now, right? Well, guess what? We got our own rooms, baby! Your new room's right across the hall from your old one. That's what I was asked to tell you. Man, it took forever. Uh, thanks, Zell. Let's go. Yeah, we got new rooms. Woohoo! We got our own room. But too bad we're no longer bunking next to Selfie anymore. Oh, darn. <laughs> oh, well. I'll just go to sleep. <laughs> yep. Squall doesn't care. He'll just sleep anywhere. Knock, knock, knock. Squall, I missed you last night. Where you been? <laughs> oh, it's Selfie. Okay, we got to meet by the train station in, uh, in in Balamas, I think. Well, any case. Between this... Uh, I just want to let you guys know, between this episode and the next one, I plan to collect the 20 uh, Elverette cards uh, from... The guy, the, the, there's a guy in the library that has a, is a really good source of Elverette cards that we need. I think we also need uh, three Adamantois cards to get a turtle shell. I'll look up more information about it later. But most of the cards we need are right here in Balam Gardens. So I'm gonna head to the library, play the guy uh, some card, uh, play with him some cards for a while until I get the 20 Elverette cards that I need and the possible three uh, Adamantois cards that I need. We already have the card mod that we need. And also, I'm going to go to the uh, training area and try to get 100 Berserks and possibly Thundara and Fyra. Alright, I'm going to demonstrate the card game here for a little bit. Just to show you how it works. I'm not that good at it. I anyway, as you play through the game in different areas, you'll end up coming across a lot of different rules. I don't know them all offhand, but I just remember some of them are really nasty. Alright, now each card you have here has a different element. Uh, or non-elemental. They also have a, a number in the top, left, right, and bottom of their card number. These are basically their attack and defense scores, and you'll see them come into play. I don't want to lose my Ifrit card, so I'll use Bool, Gizzard, Fungwar, and two Bite Bugs. I'm probably going to lose because I suck at this, but we'll see how it goes. Now, essentially, you can use the wall to block your lower numbers, and obviously the card with the higher number in the corner that you attack wins, as you can see there. He had a 2 in the bottom corner, and I had a 5. So I won that, just like he had a 5 there and I had a 1, so he is able to easily flip my card. But we'll flip his right back with a 3 versus his 2. Yeah, but then he played Behemoth. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna lose. But I... yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, he just flipped two of the cards because, yeah. And then if you win, you get their card. So I lost my bull card. Oh, well. So, like I said, I'm just going to take... Between this episode and the next one, I'm just going to play a bunch of cards, get the cards that I need, and then meet you back in the uh, front of the garden. All right, everyone, this has been White Mage Serenia signing off of Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. I do hope I can make this one as good and entertaining as my Final Fantasy VI Let's Play. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this and find it as equally as helpful. Anyway, take care, guys. We'll see you again soon, and have a good day. Take care.